It might sound too good to be true, but Belgian scientists have created a new device that generates power, unurified P-air at the same time. The device uses catalysts to break down city smog, and produce hydrogen gas which can be used as a climate-friendly fuel. The incredible device only needs sunlight to work, and could be a solution to cleaning up some of the world's smoggy-est cities. Researchers from the University of Antwerp and the University of Leuven in Belgium created the proto-electrochemical cell using catalysts that produce hydrogen gas in the presence of polluted air. Air is purified on one side, while on the other side, hydrogen gas is produced from a part of the degradation products. This hydrogen gas can be stored and used later as fuel, as is already being done in some hydrogen buses, for example, said Dr. Sammy Verbergen, who led the study. In this way, researchers are able to respond to two major social needs, the need for clean air and alternative energy production. In the past, these cells were mostly used to extract hydrogen from water. We have now discovered that this is also possible, and even more efficient, with polluted air, said Dr. Verbergen. The underlying technology is similar to that found in solar panels. But the difference here is that the electricity is not generated directly, but rather the air is purified while the generated power is stored as hydrogen gas. We are currently working on a scale of only a few square centimeters, said Dr. Verbergen. At a later stage, we would like to scale up our technology to make the process industrially applicable. We are also working on improving our materials, so we can use sunlight more efficiently to trigger the reactions, he said. Hydrogen can be used as a fuel in two main ways. Firstly, it can be burned directly in the engine which produces water as a waste product. Alternatively, it can react with oxygen without burning to generate electricity for transport such as hydrogen-powered cars. Car manufacturers are increasingly developing cars, then run on hydrogen rather than fuels such as petrol or diesel. The first very high pollution alert was issued for London by Mayor Sadiq Khan in January 2017, under a new system for warning people about poor air quality. Warnings are being issued at bus stops, tube stations and roadsides in the capital, and Mr Khan said everyone from the vulnerable to the physically fit may need to take protections to protect themselves from the filthy air.